Hello and welcome to another review. This time we are going to take a look at the Bassless Gear for the Heavy Gear Blitz War Game. Produced by DreamPod9, this blister set me back about $12 at the War Store. I was very impressed with the amount that they were able to provide. I, I just ordered them in bulk and kind of hoped that they were going to be able to provide them. And surprisingly, they did. Uh, it usually retails for about $15. You get two to the blister. And it's generally what you would expect from most of the DreamPod 9 products. You will recall from the last time when I reviewed the Python that I was a little less impressed with this product. And here we'll find out. But first, a little history on the, the model itself. The Basilisk gear, as you'll find, is a... A development that followed the Jaeger. They needed a cheaper trooper gear. There was many that went into the design contest to build them and uh, a lot of them failed. They eventually fell through to the Basilisk and the Basilisk itself was produced but it wasn't really well found on. It wasn't really appreciated in its time. It wasn't until the development of the Analyst which was supposed to be a gear that was supposed to be a recon gear to supplement the Jaeger ended up following through. The, anal the analysts ended up being a disaster. They produced many of them, but the, product the War Department didn't want to take uh, ownership of them, and they ended up languishing. And in return, they ended up replacing them with another gear that happened to be around. That was the Basilisk. Not because it's a particularly good recon gear, but because it is fast. In fact, one of his defining traits of the Basilisk is that it is actually rather horrible in terms of its sensor suite. It gets a negative one to it. Otherwise, it's a pretty impressive gear. It is fast. It has all the normal trooper characteristics. It has one less sturdy box compared to the normal Jaeger, but it has no less of the potency. It has uh, almost uh, an equivalent to electronic suite, aside from the problem I just mentioned that it's actually it's its sensor uh, or its sensor system has actually got a negative one on it. It's it's not so hot, and uh, it can take all the normal uh, equipment that a Jaeger can, making it incredibly potent for what is usually pretty cheap. And you can swap this thing in in most lists for. Uh, a Jaeger. So if you have a Jaeger and a trooper gear of what uh, some sort, you can replace it with uh, one of these guys for a slight points decrease. Whether or not that's worth your time is uh, it's up to you. You're going to have to make the call on that. Now most southern lists can actually take just uh, one swap. The ESE, however, can swap just about every time there's a Jaeger for one of these guys. That's why I got so many of them. I'm just going to make something of a horde out of them. For 750, uh, I did the list. I can put out something like 12 or 15 of these. It was it was crazy. But on to the packaging. You'll find that it is the standard setup. Nice little blister, easy packaging uh, material. Nice bit of foam, great for making scarring or rust patterns or something like that. And you'll see the principal complaint that I have with this particular model. You've got uh, two standing positions that look really similar. Two arm patterns that aren't, which if you've put one of these things before uh, together before, you'll find that this is actually indicative of a problem that I'm about to point out. And the head. You'll notice that the head assembly is bolted to the torso. You can't move the head and point it in any other direction. So you get a lot of these like curious little poses where I'm, I'm trying to make something dynamic out of it, but I'm really struggling with the fact that everything is more or less preset. I like this one. He's just like, oh, just screw the gun. I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my dagger. Look at it. It's awesome. It's shiny. I hope I don't die. With a little bit of modification, you can see that he's like, oh, come on, come on. But that's just it. There's no modification. This is a gear that you'll see in the Southern list can field bazookas, smacks, just about every standard upgrade that you have for the Jaeger. And you will get these upgrades in the Jaeger uh, kit. You do not get in the Basilisk kit. It's just the rocket pack, the engine pack, the, the knife, and then the, the LAC. It's fairly no frills. It's pretty cheap. I mean, I got a lot of them. But I'm a little disappointed, I have to say. And it's only because... I can't move the head. I almost got to the point where I was going to saw it off and 
re uh, re put it on. But you'll notice that it's like it's right up there against the torso, and you'd have to green stuff the eyepiece back on there, and it would just be really really troublesome to do. I ended up uh, you know living without it. And to a lesser extent, they're not painted. It's, you know, it's part of the lead brigade. They're just not going to get uh, painted because I don't have an immediate use for them. But, just wait, you'll find that these will be painted and ended up being used in, uh, just as a, a replacement for some of the gears and some of the lists that uh, I want to otherwise flesh out with something that doesn't necessarily need anything. Namely, something that just, just its whole purpose is just to bring a recon drone to the field. I don't necessarily need the extra sturdy box, and the fact that a sensor suite's a little awful, it's kind of irrelevant, because he's going to let the recon uh, drone do all the business. Now, you'll also remember in my last year, uh, review that I talked about the Python. Dom, dom, dom. Yeah, it's a very impressive uh, piece of work. I mean, I love the model. It's very fantastic. But wouldn't you know it, I was looking at my notes right before I did the review, and it said a lot about a boa. And I thought, boa, boa, I got pythons here, man. Whoever wrote this had to be insane. I mean, forget that. I, I got pythons. I'm talking about pythons. No. Most of the, the fluff work is correct. The python is an older gear that uh, got replaced by the spitting python. But the Badlands python is mostly awful. It's got a slightly better sensor suite, but it's also slightly more resilient from the front but it's otherwise a little bit more crunchy and kind of useless. I also said that uh, it had a mortar on the back of it, and that was better. No, 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 no. Using what I know now, it, you, you want the rocket pack. The The original version is is way better than the Badlands version. And not just that, the, the Python, this is kind of a flaw in heavy gear itself, I can't seem to find a list that uses it. It, it you have to go through the ESC and then as affiliate yourself with a uh, you know an independent unit and now I'm hampering myself on all kinds of fronts just by removing a bunch of support options that I otherwise would have had and it's not worth it this this thing's worth 70 points now I can get myself a, a normal spitting cobra for 71 and it has an extra sturdy box it, it won't be caught flat footed because this thing has like a negative three uh, just just to get shot at that's that's horrifying there there's really slow moving tanks that are almost in the same area and it doesn't even have the same armor it's, it's actually a little easier to kill so i i don't know they're very fluffy they're very interesting to look at and i might field them every now and then but i just don't see the point Sorry for the confusion, though, because uh, I, I got them mixed up. The Badlands Boa and the Boa itself are actually fantastic designs. You should take a look at it. It's like uh, two sturdy boxes, light, heavy, critical, and it's just fantastic. A weapon suite that's just complete jealousy made into a uniform. So that's been a review. I hope you enjoyed it.